At PAX West, I got brand activated again because there is now 50 golden keys available for use with the PAX West code. Oh my God, that's so many golden keys. It's more golden keys than I've ever had, except for when I use a save editor, but it's more golden keys than I've ever had legitimately. So we are yet again back on Torg Axton, the world's most inconsistently uploaded playthrough. When will the next episode be? Will there even be one? I don't know, probably not. If they keep dishing out these brand activations though. Doesn't take much to activate your brand, huh? I mean, 50 golden keys, that's pretty good. Because Torg only action is annoying to do. Because I know I'm going to outlevel the Deepa, and then it's just going to suck and not be fun to play anymore. But if the golden chest can give me some purple Torg guns, give me some little purple Torg action, you know, maybe. Maybe we could be in business. Right now I have Deepa, so Deepa's fine. Open up, treasure. Wow, useless treasure. Open up, Mobley and Ghetto. I know you're here. Give me your loot. Give me your treasure. Oh, we got a Varuk. Varuk, gang. Can we get a Lyuda? Can we get the double drop? The infamous double drop can be mine. Nope, it's a Varuk. Okay. Well, we're going Varuk. All right. Varuk, gang. Varuk, gang is eating good today. Not Lyuda, gang. Lyuda, gang is eating nothing. They have not the table scraps. Hey, 69, handsome Jack Corrosion. Thanks for the bits, Jack. You're such a handsome fellow. You can pre-order a handsome Jack body pillow right now on Gearbox merch store. I didn't. Yet. Could be funny though, could be pretty good. Maybe uh maybe next time Private Jessup has to awake from a slumber, he could be like cuddling a handsome Jack body pillow. That'd be funny. That'd be a good bit. I already have mine, yeah. I gotta buy them before they sell out, man. They're limited edition. Maybe. Remember the good old days of betting channel points on what drops first? Yes, the good old days of channel point gambling. But eventually I realized that if I keep doing channel point gambling, somebody will get a million channel points way too fast. I mean, I do, you know, I just haven't gotten around to doing it. What am I doing? Why didn't I use the fast travel? This guy sucks at Borderlands, dude. Is this even the fast travel? Where's the fast travel pole that can take me to the power core? How do I get to the sanctuary from here? Ended it over here, I think. Because if you don't know, in the Obo Shoes Games official Twitch chat, there's only one channel points reward, and it's highlighted message, and it costs one million points. And I've had people who were saving channel points for years to try to redeem the highlight message, but no one has done it yet. It's because when Twitch channel points first came out, the first time they came out, you could highlight a message for like five points, and it was extremely annoying because everyone kept doing it for every message they sent. So I just, I basically like disabled it, but I was like, oh no, you technically still can. Technically, you still can do it, you know. You just gotta get a million of them. I just hit 200k, I'm at 414k, that's what I'm saying, if we, if we do a few bets, just a few bets, we can get some doubles in here, or, or we could redistribute some wealth, I'm at 364.8k, hmm, hmm, oh yeah, I got installed on Hyperion Core, have I played this game before? I'm at 577, that's pretty high, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty big amount. I think we're in business. Uh oh. Can I still use the golden chest during the handsome Jack attack? I better be able to. I better be able to. That's the whole reason I'm here. That's why I'm here. How many channel points to buy the channel? That's uh, probably two million. Which again, is doable. You can get it if you grind. You're 543.6, we could pool our resources? Uh-oh. So there, there is a million channel points in the economy. The economy can support a highlighted message. Lilith, teleport sanctuary while I open the golden chest. This is more fun for me. Give me Torg, I need some Torg action. Tdor, bandit. What a ripoff, dude. Ripped off by Randy. 
That's the name of this episode. Ripped off by Randy. Ernest Impact Jacobs. Come on, Randy, stop screwing me over. I want a non-Torg pistol. I mean, I want a Torg pistol. I mean, I want a non-pistol Torg. That's what I meant. Marcus, has your story been worked during this time of crisis? Okay, it does good. Nice job picking the worst possible time to farm the chest. Yeah, thanks. I turned into shaky cam explosion scene. You think it's a bad time? Bandit? Hyperion? Come on, man. I want that Torg. Flat off bandit. Dude, are there any Torg weapons? Does this game have Torg weapons? Hey, Handsome Jack. Thanks for the bits, Handsome Jack. Teteor shield, pangolin shield. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Screams in the background. Oh dang it. Oh dang it. Oh dang it. Is that Torg? It's now. Do Torg guns just suck? Are they just not capable of even being purple? More Hyperion action. Because I can't come back to Sanctuary for a little bit after this. I got to run all the way through the stupid Highland zone. I like to grab something for the road. A little snack for the road before we head out. Oh, Vlad off. Vlad off. Well, the purple rarity challenge is almost complete. There we go. That's Torg, baby. Torg time. Uh, good enough. This is good enough, I'd say. Are you Private Jessup or are you just Crimson Raider? He's just Crimson Raider, and his head is able to rotate 360 degrees. There is Jessup. Jessup looks very concerned. Don't worry, Jessup. It'll be fine. I'm going to buy you a handsome Jack body pillow. Don't even know what my highlighted message would say. It's too much pressure. Yeah, it's too much pressure, man. That's another good deterrent. Just once you have the channel points, it's like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to highlight a message. What should it even say? I don't know. One day I'll do a kick stream where we just do gambling for channel points. Stream live on gambling.com. You just put the message, highlighted message, yeah. Highlight your message, exclamation mark. Roland, I can't believe you got smushed. Don't worry, Roland, I'll help. Ooh, Tanny E, can we get some Tanny E? Are we getting Tanny E to Lilith? Come on, Tannis. Is Tannis even here right now? Because I wanted you to. Shut up, Jack. Just because I want to go back to the Jack doesn't mean I want to go back to the Jack. The Handsome Jack body pillow should have a voice chip when you squeeze it. It plays a randomly selected Handsome Jack line. That'd be better. Hey, there we go. I got a Rid Rock. I got a Ridge Wallet. Lilith, here is two extremely small chunks of Iridium, which is enough for you to teleport the whole city, so I don't know why you can't just... If I give you a whole... If I give you, like, an entire chunk, not just a small chunk, you can probably just teleport up to the Death Star and blow it up, right? It makes you pretty strong. We can do numbers with the aftermarket jack voice chip for the body pillows, yeah. We got to get the sales data of how many they sold. They manufacture that many because every single person that bought the body pillow will want one. It'll be a hot ticket item. Oh man, I got a Timothy Lawrence body pillow instead. This isn't what I wanted. This sucks. Goodbye, Sanctuary. It was nice knowing you. Bye. I'm helping you out, Jack. They've got Lilith from Borderlands. Didn't you see the movie? She's very strong. 
She has cool powers. And Handsome Jack's like, huh, I didn't know they could do that. Hey, Angle, can you can you teleport us to Sanctuary, Angle? You should do that. You, Angle, you didn't tell me you had teleporting this whole time. I tied you up and put you in a computer tube. If you, if you could just teleport to the vault. We could just teleport. We could wait for him to get the vault key and teleport to him. Why have we been, why have I been sitting in this space station on the intercom all day? You got teleporting action. Classic Angle. Why can't Angle just listen to her parents, you know? Because Angle's parents were like, Oh, Angle, don't kill your mom accidentally with a turret gun, and then she did. If she just wouldn't have done that, we wouldn't have been in this situation. We wouldn't have had that problem. One in every 500 ships being switched with Jack Black lines from the movie. That'd be painful. Hey, the Minecraft trailer came out. Did everybody watch the uh, Minecraft trailer? Good heavens, what a disaster that looks like. That looks really bad. Why are they live action? Why are they live action in the Minecraft world? Why are they not? Why is it not like a Captain Sparkles Fallen Kingdom animation? Just make, just make it hire a Minecraft YouTuber to animate it. It's so, so easy to do that, right? And they just said, what a uh, Jack Black. Jack Black will be in there wearing a t-shirt. He's Steve Minecraft. They didn't even ask Jack Black to get a haircut. I know, he doesn't, he doesn't even have the Steve Minecraft haircut. What if we did it wrong, yeah. Everyone's expecting us to do it right, but what if we did it wrong instead? I think that could be pretty good. Nobody would expect us to do it wrong, that's the thing. Everybody's expecting this movie to be a slam dunk. But if we make it into a fumble, that could be even better. If we make it into a foul ball, that'd be great. That's the wrong sport. Almost dead. I can fix that. Thank you for your offer, Zed, but I will go through the fridge. Dying only a few times, because I usually die in the fridge. I didn't do my stereotypical Lyuta Varuk farming, so... I'm a little under-leveled ATM machine. I'm a little under-leveled at the automatic teller machine machine. We're so back? Oh, we're so back. Rocket launcher is very effective for getting back up. Distract him, turret. You're not Torg, but who cares? I don't care. I don't play by my rules. George R. R. Martin made a blog post saying, House of the Dragon sucks, read the book. Wow. He dissed his own show. Come on, germ. A hey, germ, I would read the book if you would finish it. How about that one? How about that kind of a bazinga for that guy? What are you saying, Angle? What is Angle even talking about? You don't want to hear what he thinks of Rings of Power. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to discuss the Rings of Power. Is that season two of the Ring of Power out yet? Oh, man. What a nightmare show. I might watch it, but I might not. The least they could do is make some cool Lord of the Rings Lego sets now that the Lord of the Rings brand has been activated. They keep making a Lord of the Rings Lego. It's like $500. Can they please make a Lord of the Rings Lego that's not $500? Maybe like a $20 Lord of the Ring Lego could be kind of cool, you know? Some small sets. This is all discussion that should be saved for Oboshu's bricks, though. Good job, Lilith. You teleported the city to right underneath the gun. What is the lore reason? I forgot. What's the lore reason the gun can't shoot him now? There is some kind of a lore reason why the gun can't still shoot. Or maybe it is still shooting and the shield's still up. Are they trying to make orcs sympathetic or something? I don't even know, man. I forgot most of the first season. 
It was a big twist that the bad guy was the bad guy, I think. I think in the first season, the twist was that Sauron is Sauron the whole time, which was not that impressive. Oh, yeah, I got to use the false fast ramble, of course. I got to do that. What am I subscribed for? If not for you to buy those sets. Now you're subscribed so I can go buy 90s sets. Why buy Lord of the Rings set for $500 and you can buy like 190s Legos sets that are all very cheap on Bricklink and are way better? I gotta get Johnny Thunder. Oh crud, it didn't work, Angle. I got an error message. Why buy a new thing when you can get old thing? Yeah, why buy a new thing when you can get old thing for even more expensive than new thing is? Okay. Or you can buy a Lego shoe, yeah. I think I know how to get you, back to you can buy a Lego Adidas shoe. Lego shoe collab. There's a new Lego movie, but it's not a Lego movie, it's like Pharrell. For some reason, they made a Pharrell biopic, and it's made out of Legos, which is extremely strange. I don't know why they did that. And they revealed the Pharrell Lego set that goes with the movie. It's really weird. It's a rocket ship, which is fine. Like, it's a cool rocket ship. But it's a wall of heads as well. It's a wall of, like, 50 Lego guy heads, and Pharrell Williams is standing there going, like, these are Lego guy heads. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like he's just a serial killer that has collected the heads of many victims. What was Legos thinking with that one? Pharrell Williams is a Lego IRL. Oh, so it's not even animated. It's just his real life. His real life is Legos. He used all his money to turn into a Lego. Makes sense. I didn't even know if that was going to be like an official Lego movie. I guess it would have to be if they're animating it with Lego minifigures, but I didn't know Lego was even involved in that one. Maybe for Elda's license Legos? I don't know. That's a movie I shan't be seeing. I'm very underleveled. If only the stupid chest would have given me some good guns. Where's a corrosive Torg? Can you get Corrosive Torg up in here, please? I did see a video of somebody on YouTube. I apologize because I forgot who you were. But somebody did beat the entire game with Basic Repeater. So it is possible to slog through. Pretty much any gun can slog through this game. It's just how much slog are you willing to bear. Oh, yeah, we got to go around. We got to do the trick. Up oh, too late. I missed the clever trick. I gotta use a big elevator after all. Co-brand activation, mutual activation. Yeah, Pharrell gets activated. And Legos gets activated by all the big Pharrell fans out there who <laughs> presumably exist because a movie's being made. A movie's coming out, so I guess somebody likes him? Or maybe he just like called in a bunch of favors he had and he's like, make a cool movie about me that makes me into the coolest guy. And some Hollywood producer was like, uh, fine, I'll do it. I'll do it, but only if you fund my indie movie that will suck. And Pharrell was like, you got a deal. Why is it not going? What did I forget? What am I forgetting all you guys over there? I thought this platform itself moved. I'm very out of shape with this game. I'm out of form. Alright, go. Activate. Activate slow moving elevator. Activate slow moving. There we go. Activate slow moving elevator. That was a good puzzle. Um. No. Oh my god. Why was my momentum... Ugh. The momentum wasn't being carried. Stupid game. How did I fall off a moving platform by standing still? Well, we get to wait for it again. That's good. If at first you don't succeed, a better pistol is what you need. 
Can't even go upstairs, right? Pharrell made minions. Oh, of course. To be fair, Pharrell is responsible for an insane amount of influential music. That's what he wants you to think. That's what he wants you to think of this biopic. He wants to take a million... He wants to take 10 million popular songs that are like popular songs. He'd be like, oh yeah, I made that. I produced that actually. Actually, that was me. It was me the whole time. So, uh... In case you didn't know, I actually made all these. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. I'm a cool guy. I don't believe him for a second. I don't believe for a second that he produced 10 million popular songs. He might have, like, walked into the studio one day when a popular song was being made. Anything in the biopic is just automatically wrong. Like, it's just not true. So whatever is in the Pharrell Lego biopic will not be true at all. And it looks like what it is is he's like, I'm a genius that made all the hit songs. So therefore, he's not a genius that didn't make any hit songs. He probably didn't even make his own song. That's probably what happened. He probably got someone to ghostwrite his songs, and he has, like, imposter syndrome. So he has to make a whole movie about how great he is and how he's a big genius. Combat engineer, die. Face the wrath. Come on. Wrath faced. Deep is so good. I gotta order a 3D printed Deepa one of these days. My handsome jack body pillow can be holding a Deepa, yeah. Also, the Tiny Tina's Bunkers and Badasses game can be ordered from the Borderlands merch store. I'm pissed because I bought that for the Super Pre-Order. I bought the Super Duper version, and now the Super Duper version is like $100 cheaper than what I paid for it. I think what happened, though, is that they didn't sell any. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they manufactured more. I think when it first came out, I was the only person that bought a copy. And so the stock that they currently have is just back order. Or not back order. It's just the remainder that no one bought when it initially came out, which is all of them. Because who, who is buying that? Who is buying the Tiny Tina Bunkers and Badasses book besides me as a hilarious joke? <laughs> I bought it as a joke. And it's like, honestly... It's like a pretty well-made, like, tabletop role-playing source book. It's like 300 pages, custom artwork, well laid out. It just looks like a D&D &D module, but, like, who's who's going to play that? I still have yet to be able to convince a single real-life person to play that with me. So I can make my review video of the Bunkers and Badasses tabletop game. You order one, but the print quality is completely random. Yeah, there you go. You order a Deepa, but you don't know if you're going to get a perfect Deepa. <laughs> Borderlands Prop Repa Club Blind Bags. Oh, no, I didn't get the matching grip on my 3D printed replica that cost $100. Oh, man. This Torg shotgun is doing work. He's picking up the slack, kind of. Slack obtained. What is the uh, the glitch with the beacon? I think if the beacon dies a certain amount of times, the game just auto-completes the quest for you. Got to figure out how to friendly fire it somehow. What happened is somebody at Gearbox really likes Dungeons & Dragons, clearly, because of the Tiny Tina Wonderlands video game. And some somebody at Gearbox had enough clout to convince the marketing team that they should make their own tabletop game, which I respect. If I could convince somebody to let me make a D&D &D clone, I would do it. Don't know if anybody's going to actually play the game ever. It did come with a giant dice. That's the best thing. It came with Borderlands miniatures, which I still haven't painted a lol. And it came with a giant D20. And the 20 is a Borderlands symbol. That's pretty, that's pretty fun. It's pretty fun to roll that and be like, let's see, you get to roll on the giant dice. It's like a fun reward. What are you saying, Jack? You talking about how you killed some guy? Classic Jack always killing some guy. You ever notice how he's doing that? You ever notice how he's not murdering? He should knock it off. One of these days, he'll get his comeuppance. I should have grabbed a car, probably. Would have helped. But I'm jumping. I'm rocket jumping, which is when you jump normally while holding a rocket launcher. It's out of ammo. I don't need a bada-boom to speed run the game. 
I speed run on my own terms. First channel meetup is a giant empty room with bunkers and badasses and cameras and doors locked behind us. Randy Pitchford rolls out on a jigsaw tricycle. Welcome to the meetup, guys. Unfortunately, Obo couldn't be here, and he like wipes blood off his hands. So, you guys, uh, you guys like tabletop games? Big fans? How about we play a session? I'll DM. Oh, and one more thing: if you die in the game, you die in real life. Here we go. Hyperion took over this town. Look, look what they did. They made it into a nice town, those monsters. Grinder time, what to be grinding? Do you have any grinding sacrifices? I can drop that shield. Goodbye, shield. Get munched. Handsome Jack, deploy your loaders all the way down there. Angle. Angle, stop being angle, angle. He already realized angle. He figured it out, like, immediately. He's a bit of a genius. Let's do this. Can I kill the beacon myself? I don't think it takes friendly fire. If it did, that'd be really convenient, because I can just kill it a bunch of times. And a friendly fire, oh well. Maybe it'll die that many times by itself. Wow, you are really bad at defending that beacon, is what Jack says. I've heard the line many times before. I need a big old assault rifle, that's what I need. I need a larger magazine. I'm always running out of ammo in these prolonged firefights. Leave my beacon alone. I'm gonna get underneath of a yellow slash cream colored blanket and scream, leave beacon alone. That's a, that's a Borderlands reference, right? Borderlands would reference that. Honestly, the terrible pop culture stuff, it kind of gets better with age in Borderlands. Like, because when it came out, it was like, if a meme is like a year old, it's like, ah, oh, gross, cringe. They referenced a year old meme. That's lame. But like 20 years later, it's like, oh, look, that double rainbow. I remember that. I remember double rainbow. That was nice. I remember that one. So the, the hit they're going to take is in the short term, their games writing will be terrible. But eventually over time, it'll be nostalgic. Like when Claptrap's like dubstep, wub, wub, wub. It's like, oh, yeah, remember dubstep? I remember that. Remember that uh, genre? Yeah, they had Skrillex. That was fun. Would there be a skibbity toilet joke in Borderlands 4? Absolutely. That's no question. No brainer. And they'll be they'll be clever about it, though. Because it'll be a commentary about how, like, the kids like skibbity toilet and there's an adult who's like, I hate skibbity toilets. Go shoot them all. And you shoot them, and then the kids get sad, and the adults like, "Oh, you know what? Maybe it's fine for younger generations to like different stuff." And it'll be like a that'll be the message. The it'll be like a moral tale. It'll be a fable. Die gun loader. Uh oh, we're talking about a pet peeve. Uh oh, not your pet peeve. Remember Alf? Yeah, remember Alf? He's back in Pog form. Your pet peeve is that Skrillex isn't actually dubstep, but the world doesn't understand what dubstep actually means and repurpose it. Well, I think what that means is that I hate to break it to you, but I think if 95% of the world agrees that Skrillex is dubstep, I think he's dubstep. I do believe he is dubstep. Even if he wasn't originally dubstep, he is now. He's become the touch point.
Dying unloader. Dying unloader. That was for Skrillex. He makes electronic music, not dubstep music. It's very different. Borderlands 4 will have Among Us. It'll have a whole Among Us mission. The thing is, the Among Us mission probably got wrote when Among Us was popular and hit game, and now it's not. But they left it in. Honestly, with how fast hilarious internet meme joke culture progresses these days, maybe like an Among Us joke would be nice and nostalgic. When Borderlands 4 comes out in a year, maybe Among Us. Like, yeah, Among Us. Remember Among Us? That was nice. They gotta have Poppy. If they have a Poppy playtime in Borderlands 4, I'm there day one. Vault Edition, $1 million version. Normally I'd agree, but dubstep is literally the combination of dub, reggae, and two-step garage, which Skrillex isn't. Us massive music nerds will call Skrillex bro step. Ah, there we go. Because bro is usually like a derogatory prefix used when something gets popular. So when, when something gets popular, bro is added. We got bro country. Yeah, okay. There it is. Real people know that Skrillex is actually two-step. He's two-step garage. No, I'm going to say that from now on. Like, who's your favorite two-step garage artist? I like Skrillex. I like how he mixes in his dub reggae. I got new vocabulary. Hurry up, Angle. Please calibrate. Perform screen calibrations. Sorry, Jack, you done ran out of Robobots. I don't care that you're making fun of me, it's killing me inside. No, you're you're allowed to think it. I'm not saying you're wrong. I know how annoying it can be when your niche culture goes mainstream and everyone gets it wrong. I'm not I'm not trying to make fun of you in particular. I just think the concept is funny. The concept of like what becomes popular and is just like colloquially known as the example of the thing is usually not correct. I think I'm just going to say that Skrillex is dubstep. Yeah, well, so what did we learn today? I think we learned that Skrillex is dubstep. I think that was the, uh, that's what we learned today. All right, Golden Chest, cough it up. You scammed me a million times today. Oh my God, dude, stop scamming me. Iridian, Iridian. Dude, these packs West Keys, they're weak sauce. They're totally weak sauce, dude. That's some Borderlands writing. Tiny Tina would say something is weak sauce, probably. Alright, let me get some XP. Maybe I'll be level 16 soon. Soon I'll be old enough to kill, but not for voting. I'm begging people to listen to Mystic Z, M Y S T I K Z, the guys who originated the genre. They're good. I mean, I'm not gonna, but thanks for the recommendation. I'm sure somebody, somebody listening will look up Mystic Z spelled like that and be like, oh, I get it now, but I'm not gonna. Someone will, though. Your message will reach somebody. Hidden journals. Remember that? The mission has violence and pizza. Whoa. Tannis, you shouldn't have constructed such an amazing quest for me. Hi, Roland. Oh, hey, you're in the preserve. I was going to get some on-level weapons, but, well, brought those yourself, except I didn't. The stupid Torg case won't give me any Torg stuff. Should I go to the Torg DLC? Do I gotta cash in Torg tokens? There was some loot in the vault. Oh, a Torg grenade mod. Hang on. Our grenades are now... Slightly more powerful than they were before. Power to forcibly charge the key with iridium. 
Just think of your favorite music genre and how other people don't understand it. Yeah. Just think about how people don't understand the true genius of Rivers Cuomo. I get mad when people say that Weezer is bad since Pinkerton. They're only mostly bad. They have a couple good ones. But some people won't sit there and listen to their entire library of hundreds of not that good songs. It's impossible to not understand Weezer. No, it's very complex. It's very complicated. There are multiple Weezer video essays that all go over the same information in varying orders and using various different clip art. There's only so many like Weezer visuals out there, so it's always fun to watch like the history of Weezer. It's 20 minutes long, and it's like, all right, let's see, let's see how we arrange the photos, because there's only a limited amount of Weezer photos, so they had to figure out how to arrange them to fit their narration. That's how I enjoy video essays. My favorite genre is TikTok music. Are just songs that are popular on TikTok? Aren't TikTok songs popular for like a week max though? Okay, we got a pistol. It's probably not going to be better than Deepa though. Deepa's probably still going to be superior. An assault rifle is what I really need. <laughs> the Weezer essay is the whitest of the video essay, Whiteman. <laughs> My favorite genre is shoegaze. I know I heard of that. I know what that is. I mean, if you asked me to list a single shoegaze song, I couldn't. I don't know any of them, but I know what it is. I've heard it. What's everybody's favorite music genre? Everybody name your favorite music genre in chat and I'll judge you. I'll pass judgment. Is that better than my current one? Is Fwappa Boom? Oh, Fwappa Boom sucks, dude. I should maybe wait. I should wait till I'm a little bit higher level before I go after this. That was what? How many golden keys? How many total golden keys have been given out for BL2, I wonder? What percentage of, like, the world supply of golden keys that I just spend on nothing? Electronica? Nightcore, Rockabilly, Funk, Degent. Oh, uh, if only you gave me a Torg. I mean, I could do a million side quests to get XP, but I'm, I kind of just want to go farm the Lyuta and Veruk for XP, even though I can't even use them. Is there a better way to get XP at this point in the story? I don't even know. I'm so rusty. Where do they live? They live in the dust. <laughs> like Kimbra. Like pop. Skate punk hip hop. Post punk electric razor modulation. Shoegaze goat. We gotta get a Spotify playlist. Why does the Spotify, like, music algorithm suck so bad? It's like, here's some songs for you, and it's just like the songs you don't want to hear at that exact time. And they play ads, like, come on, Spotify. Why give me an advertisement? Just because I don't want to pay money for your service, you're going to give me an ad? That doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem very sporting of you. Because Spotify sucks, yeah? Just get YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium Music, just get that. I don't have YouTube Premium. You can pirate Spotify? I know. I used to have the Spotify cracked, unlocked, whatever, but then I got a new phone, and I was too lazy to set it up again. I could, I could set it up where I could not use Spotify ever. I gotta get some YouTube premium then, dude. I gotta get something. You can't not be paying for a music app. It's 2024 and you're not being billed monthly. Hey, check it out. This guy's not getting in billed monthly. This guy's a fake music fan. 
Just LimeWire. Yeah, just, I gotta build my library in iTunes. My Pirate of Music iTunes library. I like YouTube algorithm. Yeah, YouTube algorithm can give you some good music if you like click on one of their auto mixes, but the YouTube algorithm doesn't support driving really because it keeps stopping and being like, are you still watching? And so you know I just want the music to play YouTube. You know I'm driving and I want music. Stop making me pause and look down at the screen to buy YouTube premium. Oh yeah, I got a save quit. Oh yeah, the central mechanic of the game. The pyro. Thank you, the pyro for... Pie scribing. It's a common oboe refrain. I know I could do that, but I don't. Yeah, I know I could do a lot of stuff. I just don't do it. This guy doesn't have AirPods in 24-7 streaming music. No, I stream Sigma Grindset podcast. YouTube wants you to crash your car unless you get premium. Yeah, they do. They do want you to crash your car unless you get premium. It's not even a joke. The pyro you can be from TF2, the soon to be forgotten game swept away underneath the incoming enormous success of Deadlock. All right, mobile and get along. I gotta test my new pistol on ya. Whoa, he's level 18. Whoa, I forgot they scaled. We're mobile and ghetto. Ooh. We're mobile and ghetto. I deep is still better, probably. Wow, useless. You guys suck. It was interesting to watch all the uh, top million things Borderlands 4 needs videos. Because most of them are just like themed around like farming for dedicated drops. Like all the suggestions from everybody is like, please give us an easier way to farm for dedicated drops, which I agree with. I do agree. That's a good feature that the game needs to have, because why does it not have that by now? But also, I have to wonder who that's for. Like, that's that's for streamers, right? The farming, ded like, a better interface for farming dedicated drops. That's for Borderlands streamers. Borderlands streamers need that. Because, I mean, every, probably, you know, people that play the game a lot. If you're still playing Borderlands 2, you're, like, into Borderlands 2, and you probably farm all the time. But like 99, probably 99.9% .9 of the population that buys Borderlands 4 is going to play the main story once then never again. Like dedicated drops farming is not even something that occurs to them that it's possible. So maybe they can put it more front and center. Maybe they can advertise better within the game. Like, hey, this is a feature. This is a feature that uh, you can do. Because, like, it's, like, the the thing. It's, like, the thing that made the game stick around so long is, like, farming for builds on Twitch. It's, like, the reason people still like Borderlands 2. But also, like, none of, like the average gamer does not engage with this part of the game at all. This is not something that, like, anybody cares about outside of a very select few. Fortunately, a select few have the YouTube channels and the normies don't have it. Ha ha. So we get dedicated drops suggestion boxes. We they, they better do it, though. Like, they should have it. I'm not saying they shouldn't have it. It's just interesting how it's not a feature that, like... Like, if you read... I'm not, I was going to say Game Informer, but they won't be Game Informer because they're dead. If you read the IGN review of any Borderlands games, like, drop farming is not even mentioned. Everybody who wants dedicated drop farming was at the movie premiere, yeah. Everybody who, like, plays this game all the time. Any, any Anybody who's still playing Borderlands 2, that's what I'm saying. Are like, yes, dedicated drop farming, better interface would be amazing. But most people just don't care. But what else can they add, though? Because, like, they, the gun, they got the gunplay solved. Like, Borderlands 3 gunplay is good. They just got to solve making the game not boring. They got to make it have a nice mission flow. They just gotta make it not talk so much. That's all they gotta do, really, is stop making the game talk so much. Just let me do it. Like, Borderlands 3, they got it. Borderlands 3 is the good game. They just gotta let me play it. They just don't want you to play it. They made a good game, and they're like, what if you couldn't play it, though? What if you had to listen to a million things? It'd be pretty cool. They could do leagues, like Path of Exile. Is that like one of those season reset type deals? 
Hey, you don't you don't need a season reset in Borderlands really because it's like a single player co op is optional type thing. It's not like everybody's online at all times really. It's not like a MMO type game. I guess Path of Exile isn't like that either. I don't know. Because you can just roll up a new guy anytime. So like, who cares? Who cares about like everything gets reset every couple of months? We can you can join a league. It's not it's like optional. I'm assuming it's not like baked into it. I don't know. Scalable end game. Yeah, something to do when the campaign ends. It'd be nice. They have some stuff to do when the campaign ends, but all the stuff you do when the campaign ends is just like a guy that has a million health and then you just kill him. You just go get a build that kills him in one hit. They added those takedowns. Though. Like the, the takedowns is like a legit, like a, like the peak, the peak in the Maliwan takedown and stuff. Those are like legit raid type deals. They just get boring because people, people want extremely varied and good end game content. But again, the reality is that 99.9% .9 of players are never going to play end game content. They're just not going to do it. So it's hard to justify the development time for it. And even if they make a really cool like end game content, like it's the only thing that's there for end game. So you're going to be doing it too much and get annoyed by it. You can't win. They should listen to hardcore fans. Not shouldn't, yeah. You, previously, you said they should listen to hardcore fans, because when you listen to hardcore fans, you alienate the core audience. But when you don't listen to hardcore fans, you get the Borderlands movies. Maybe, maybe they should. Uh, maybe we should bring back Handsome Jack as a hilarious joke. A few people have asked me since I posted my Handsome Jack Weezer song, do I actually want Handsome Jack to come back? Would that be good? I'll leave. Uh, I'll leave that up to the viewers' interpretation. Do you think I want Handsome Jack to actually return in the Borderlands 4 story? The answer is yes, I do. <laughs> I want him to come back because it'll be so bad. If they, if they bring Handsome Jack back, it's a legit, like, that's dead speak tier. It'd be a dead speak tier storyline, and that'd be hilarious. I would love it. I would love it if it was a dead speak tier experience. Uh, yeah, ninety nine point nine percent of players don't want Handsome Jack to come back, but the hardcore audience knows that Handsome Jack must return. You should gatekeep more. Yeah, gatekeep the game more. Make it less accessible, please. Less accessible equals more successful. It's tried and true formula. That's why that Ubisoft Star Wars that sucks sold like fifty million copies. I did do. I played more of that Ubisoft Star Wars. I played like another two hours of it. Uh, it just kept putting me in stealth missions that were awful, and then the shooting was awful, and then the main character was awful, and then the dialogue was awful, and the animations were... The graphics are good, though. The planet looks really nice. It is a nice-looking planet, but everything about it just sucks. And I was told by some friends that are playing it, and by many, many reviews, that it gets good eventually. They're like, if you it, once you get past like the opening couple hours, it gets good. Which I believe. I believe it gets better, but I just don't want to play it more. I don't care enough to play it until it gets good. Like, after I beat I beat that uh, stealth mission I was stuck on. And after I beat it, the next main campaign mission was sneak back into the same exact place. Because I need a blaster upgrade. You gotta get an ion blaster for your zapper so you can zap stuff. And I could, I could sneak into the other place as well, but I didn't feel like doing that because I already knew this map. I was like, oh, wow, they're making me get a blaster upgrade as a quest. This is a whole quest where you sneak through a Far Cry outpost. What if I just, like, bought it from a store? But when you go to the store, the guy's like, oh, that's black market. The only way you can get that is if you sneak through the bad guy compound and steal it. And also, don't make sure you don't kill any of the bad guys. Make sure you don't use your gun on bad guys or do anything cool. Make sure you only hit X to knock them out in one punch. Once the game wears down your defenses, it gets good. Yeah, once once you've been Stockholm Syndrome into liking it, it gets pretty fun. But, like, I've seen some stuff from, like, later on. It does look like it gets better, but I just don't have the willpower to push through the garbage that is the onboarding. There was one... I forgot what review it was. Some review I watched was, like, it's refreshing to play as a Star Wars protagonist. Who can't just gun down 
10 million guys and actually has to use their wits. I'm like, it's not. It's not refreshing to play as that. I'm sorry, but it's not. Like, I like that I can die easily and have to use stealth and tactics. Like, I don't. I want to shoot stormtroopers, dude. I want to kill a guy with a lightsaber. I would rather have my Star Wars protagonist run through a hangar bay and laser blast 10 hunter stormtroopers, then sneak through the hangar bay 10 times as slowly and be like, oh, it's more realistic, though, for their abilities, because realistically, they couldn't kill that many stormtroopers. Because realistically, stormtroopers suck and can be killed. Realistically, they're really bad. Did I just die? <laughs> Did I tie to the Mobley and Gettle farm? Player empowerment is bad, actually, yeah. Like, I think in Star Wars Outlaw, I'm pretty sure it happened at least one time. Guards can get alerted by dead bodies, but you can't move the dead bodies. So it's like, what? Being able to move the dead body, it's like... We've been doing that for 20 years, why is it not in this? All right, come on out. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot I didn't, that wasn't a reset, that was a death, I died. Hey, they made up though, they made up for their differences and now they're just gonna have, they, they weren't fighting until I got here, like, oh crap, the player character's back, gotta keep fighting. Same time tomorrow. Dude, after that initial Varuk, we're getting unlucky. We got no luck at all. Ubisoft made Splinter Cell? Yeah, they forgot. They forgot how to make Splinter Cell, sorry. A Star Wars game for people who think Greedo shot first, yeah. Didn't Greedo blast him? I think that was Greedo, right? Maybe, maybe her character gets better later in the game. But every single conversation a Star Wars outlaw lady has, she's like, Duh, uh, yeah, uh, d d d totally. I, d d I, 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 I can do that. Like someone's like, "Hey, can you steal this spaceship?" And she's like, "Um, right. Y yeah, steal a spaceship. To totally do that all the time." Awkward smile. It's like, why? Why is this how you talk in this game? But again, the, the graphics are good. The facial animations are awful, but it's Ubisoft, so that makes sense. That's kind of their signature move. But the graphics are good. It's got good graphics. If you want a good graphics game to demonstrate the power of the PS5 or the Xbox, whatever the heck Xbox they have these days. <laughs> the next one is Star Wars In-Laws, yeah. You play as, um, you play as the girl from Andor the Imperial woman and she marries the weird cop guy and then like the in-law is the mom it's like you gotta eat your cereal I'm gonna get you a job at the Imperial facility and you gotta deal with her she's the final boss is David Cage Star Wars still happening I hope so but I'm doubtful I'm doubtful that project will ever see the light of day it better because it's the best Star Wars project they've announced ever. David Cage Star Wars has so much potential, but they just won't do it. It's probably going to get canceled. What level are we? Almost 17. Maybe we'll go to 18. What, what, what level is the quest even? I guess it's probably 18 because Mobile and Gettler scaled to 18. Oh, hey, you're in the preserve. Oh, hey, you're in my preserves. And we get a Lyuta, Lyuta Gaming. Ah, uh, fire, Lyuta. Fire. All right, fire, Lyuta. Hashtag Lyuta lovers. Where are my Lyuta lovers at? Why does your impression of his mom sound like Girl Watto? 
Django, we gotta settle down, Django. Meet a nice girl, start a family, Django. That's a great cutscene in Star Wars Bounty Hunter where Girl Watto tells Django to start a family. He did. Just not the way she was thinking. Writers who try to write scientists when they know nothing about science are asking a lot of nerd video game writers to come up with a confident, charismatic character. Yeah, the writer themselves is not a cool guy. It can be kind of hard to write a cool guy. I suppose. Never been in a writer's room, though. I don't know. They're, they're, you, sometimes you see writer's rooms, and you're like, oh, these guys suck. And they make a really good show, and you're like, oh, maybe they don't suck. You can't necessarily only write what you're familiar with. You just had to not suck at it. The main thing is being good at your job. That's the main thing. If you're choosing to do something for your livelihood, your profession, as a professional guy, you should be good at it, like me. Like, here I am farming Mobley and Gettle. Same thing I was doing five years ago, and my skill has not improved at it. In fact, it's gotten worse over time. In fact, my farming has become less effective, less entertaining across the board. Overall, a massive downgrade. What's the opposite of failing upward? <laughs> Just a normal failure? Just wait another five years. Yeah, in another five years, the Mobley Gettle Farm content's gonna pop the heck off, dude. Unforeseen global geopolitical crises and events will shape the world order so that Mobley and Gettle Farming is the number one activity on Twitch. And I'm getting in on the ground floor. If Boba is Django's kid, are all the clones his kid? I say, yeah, why not? Why not? He can have them. Succeeding downward? Yeah, there we go. Instead of failing upward, I'm succeeding downward. I'm doing what I set out to do, but what I set out to do is not necessarily success. What I set out to do was make stupid internet videos. And currently, the goal of making stupid internet videos is being fulfilled with flying colors. Now, some people would aim a little bit higher. You know, some people would say, I get manscaped on here. I gotta start a podcast. I gotta advertise some Ridge Wallets. But some people go... Some some people farm Mobley and Gettle five years ago. And they go, eh, that's good enough. That's fine. Five years later... This stream is literally indistinguishable from a stream from five years ago. Except with slightly more negativity towards Star Wars. Just slightly, not much. Just a maybe like 10% buff in Star Wars negativity. It ain't much, but it's honest work, yep. Somebody's gotta play Borderlands 2 farming streams. The most lucrative time to farm Borderlands 2 is going to be like a week after Borderlands 4 comes out. Because Borderlands 4 will come out, and then there will be a certain group of people that says, This game sucks! And then if you're playing Borderlands 2 right after 4 comes out, everybody will join your stream. Double drop, dude! The double drop, that's insane! That's the luckiest guy I've seen. Babe, you just gotta farm Borderlands 2 after Borderlands 4 comes out. And the title, title of your stream is like, New game sucks! This is the classic! Then all the haters will come into your chat and be like, yeah, the new game was trash, dude. I only play the old one, bro. That's how you do it. I should have switched back to Borderlands 2 way faster after 3 came out. I could have got that hater money. I could have got those hater viewers. Career haters is really what you want. You really want most of your, you really want most of your online audience to be career haters that only go in comments and hate stuff. It's really good. <laughs> That's a very good audience <laughs> to sell Manscaped and Ridge Wallets to. <laughs> They're like the most receptive audience that will buy your uh, one of your meal kits. I hate cooking at home. It's so hard to go to the grocery store and buy some rice. So I pay $100 a month to have a company send me a frozen dinner. 
It arrives. I cook it in the microwave. It's so delicious. <laughs> Career haters are the kind of people that are like, oh, really? I can just pay $100 a week to get some frozen food instead of looking up how to cook a sandwich? Wow, this is pretty good. This, this might be a product worth investing in here. Popularity is cyclic, so every 10 years or so, this is a good career decision. Yeah, pretty soon this will be a good career move. Hungry, hungry man meal delivery, yes. <laughs> it's HelloFresh, but they literally just send you hungry man. <laughs> oh boy, a hungry man meal. And HelloFresh is like, HelloFresh just sends you like a lemon and you gotta cook it yourself. Like, you can learn fun new recipes. Like, I could do that without paying money to do it. I could just go on my phone and do that. I guess some people want the structured way. They want somebody to ship them all the ingredients in a cardboard box. But you could just uh, look up how to do it. You could just do that. Cooking is so pre-pandemic, yeah. <laughs> Cooking your own food is a pre-pandemic activity. I get my food delivered to my doorstep. All right, we're level 17. We're probably strong enough to take on corrosion. Isn't that just Amazon? I've never bought a food product from Amazon in my life, I think. I think I can say that. I'm pretty sure I can confidently say I've never purchased anything that's edible from Amazon ever. Unprecedented times calls for unprecedented convenience. Yeah, it does. What's going on, haters? I got a cool new product for you guys to buy. Order some... Uh, what, were those, what were those headphones that suck? What were they called? I forgot. Those kind of fell off, dude. Raycon. Yeah, Raycon. There we go. I love my Raycon everyday Raycon wireless buds. They're wireless earbuds, and they sound fine. I'm sure that the Raycon bud is a fine product. I'm sure it's just fine, but I'm also sure you can get a way cheaper one that's just as good. You can probably just find whatever one they're putting a Raycon logo on and buy it directly from AliExpress. If an influencer advertises a product to you, don't buy that product. Anyways, you guys, uh, you guys hear about this great new product? You guys hear about this Borderlands movie? Now that the Borderlands brand is activated, have you all considered going to the Borderlands movie and seeing it in theaters? I think it's on Amazon Prime now, right? I think you can stream it. Oh my God! Can we? Is it Watch Party still a thing? Is Amazon Prime Watch Party still a thing you can do on Twitch? Because if if the Borderlands movie is available on Prime streaming. We can do it. Where the heck am I? Why am I in a gulf? I don't want to be in the Grand Canyon. They used to be $60 at a discount. Now they are 60 with 40% off. Mm, they're getting shrinkflation. Duh, duh, duh. The only bad part about a Twitch watch party is only people with Amazon Prime can watch. The regular audience can't watch. It's a Prime exclusive event. Is this a vanilla playthrough? Oh, yeah. It's a Torg Allegiance playthrough. Only Torg is allowed. I'm not modded at all. I don't need mods to keep the game fresh. Because the game's flavor went stale years ago, and I just became accustomed to it. I just became accustomed to the staleness. All right, Bloodwing. Let's go rescue Bloodling. Bloodling? Bloodwing. Bloodling is a new bird. That's Bloodling, Mordecai's new bird. I bet your friend Claptrap could get through the Hyperion Force field. Now, he's out of date, though. He'll need a software upgrade. Mordecai should have... Goodbye, Varukin Layuta. May you pad my bank account with not that much cash. Do you do these vanilla playthroughs a lot? Uh, no. If you're looking for a dedicated Borderlands streamer, what you want is you want me three or four years ago, you can go on my YouTube and watch the old VODs. I play it every once in a while, though. 
Might as, well, might as well drop a follow, you know. Dropping a follow, like, favorite, share, subscribe, favorite, rate, five stars. Never hurt anybody. Buy free viewers online at viewersbots.net, you know. You stream every day? Nope. I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday right now. Although I might have a thing coming up that is, like, one night a month. I don't know what night it's going to be, though. It might be a weeknight, so one of those nights... Not, not like, for all four weeks, but one of the nights, one time a week, might get shot and taken out of the rotation. More of a parody music and animator. Yeah, more of a Skyrim animator these days. I'm more of a uh, music parody channel. The most unmonetizable type of channel that advertisers won't give bargains to. Custody battles, yeah. How'd you know? How'd you guess? Hey, Vault Hunter, I'm gonna stand here and do nothing. My beloved pet has been captured by Handsome Jack. So in order to help him, I'm not gonna do anything about it. Sinti Asset Spokesperson, yeah. You find my bird! You'll get your Claptrap upgrade! Can I rocket jump on that rock and go right to the Bloodwing Zone? I don't feel like going all the way around. I just want to skip to the good part. The good part is the corrosion part. That's the part we like to see. That's why we're all here. I need to contemplate. I gotta contemplate if it's worth a follow. Okay. Contemplate carefully whether or not it's worth a follow or not. Hmm, this guy is playing Borderlands 2 vanilla playthrough, but he doesn't do it that often. Hmm, hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Borderlands streamer wasn't niche enough. Yeah, now not, not even the Seagird streamer. I'm a Seagird creator. I think it's pretty safe to say I'm the number one Seagird creator, though. I don't think anybody else has made better Seagird content than me. <laughs> What's even less lucrative than Borderlands farming streams? I know. Seagrid musical. That's what I'll do. Buy gum, I've got it. No, 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 I gotta wound them. Oh, yeah, I gotta hit the door first before I wound them. Door first, then wounding. Some up, Jolts, dude? We go to the Minecraft movie? If they invite me, I'll go. I want to go to the Lego Pharrell Williams movie. I entered for a chance on Lego.com to win the, uh, you can win a ticket to that. <laughs> yeah, Lego Pharrell premiere. All right. World premiere. Imagine all the Minecraft YouTubers. It'll be at the Minecraft premiere. It'll be crazy. It'll be a veritable who's who of channels I watched seven years ago. It's going to be insane. I'm not a music fan, though. Oh, if you're not a music fan, you're not gonna, if you're not a specifically Weezer and Skyrim fan, you might want to unclick that follow button. Which cosplay would you pick for that? I don't know. See, I haven't played Minecraft in like 10 years. So what is, I don't know what the most like niche, obscure Minecraft thing is now because there's so much of it. There's so much more Minecraft than there used to be. I just don't know what I want to grab from the grab bag of stupid Minecraft stuff. <laughs> just be Private Jessup, don't explain it, yeah. Yeah, let's just be Private Jessup. Who are you? I'm, I'm from Minecraft. You don't know? Oh, yeah, 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 you're Jessup from Minecraft. Yeah, I'm him. It's me. I'm gonna cosplay as a block of bedrock. That'd be very good. Did they, did they change a the bedrock texture to be less horrible? Because the bedrock texture was, like, real nasty. I think they changed it at some point. I'm going to cosplay as original texture dirt block. Where, like, two pixels are different from the current iteration. That's my cosplay. I'm going to cosplay as original gravel. <laughs> I'm the guy in line who's never played Minecraft. <laughs> probably there will be. There are probably a lot of people at the Minecraft movie who haven't played Minecraft somehow. At the Borderlands movie, I kind of understand. Because, like, who even plays this game? Not me. At the Minecraft movie, he got it. everyone plays Minecraft. Combat engineer die, die to my deep. Oh, there we go. The skull next to your head means nothing. When I got a busted gun. Did 
there will be a time in the future where you can go to any fan gathering as Jack Black and it'll be appropriate. Yeah, he's going to be in everything. He's going to be in every IP. All your beloved characters will be played by Jack Black. <laughs> Play Minecraft for the deep, rich storyline. Yeah, I can't wait for the storyline of they get jumanji into Minecraft. And Jack Black is Steve, who got stuck in Minecraft. He's, he's going to be like, I got stuck here back in the alpha. And then it'll cut, like, the graphics will get worse, and it'll be, like, bad lighting. And it'll be like, that's a joke about how Minecraft used to look different. <laughs> Some fun Easter eggs that cater to the fans. That'll be the IGN review. Was it Jack Black already in Jumanji? Yeah. Well, this time they couldn't get The Rock, so they got, uh, they got Jason Momoa, I think. They got Kyle Drogo to be the rock in this one. In this Jumanji movie, it's called Minecraft. <laughs> not trolling when Gunpoint get in my game. Well, not, well they invite Notch. <laughs> uh, what do we think? What's the over-under on them inviting Notch? I'm going to go with 0% chance. I'm going to go there as a 0% chance that Notch is invited or even allowed to intend. Even if Notch was like someone's plus one, they would not let Notch in the building for the Minecraft premiere. <laughs> yeah, zero, zero percent. I'll bet my entire life savings that Notch is specifically on the list as banned individuals from the Minecraft movie premiere. That's why, yeah, I'll, oh yeah, Notch cosplay, <laughs> yes. I cosplayed as Notch. <laughs> there it is. You gotta cosplay as Notch to go to the Minecraft. Oh, it's perfect, because Notch isn't gonna be there. They won't let him show up. They gotta let me show up, though. Come on, Torg. Still no Torg. Oh, hey, you're in the preserve. I was going to do this whole thing where I lured you in there and killed you, but look, you just kind of showed up. Thanks for saving me the trouble. Thanks, Jack. Always great to hear your Iconics dialogue. They've got scientists working on the teleporter from the fly so they can combine Jack Black and Chris Pratt. Oh, no. Wouldn't that be a Mario eating like a Bowser shroom? What's the mushroom that turns Princess Pete into Bowser? Can Mario eat that? Does he get turned into like a Mario Bowser hybrid if he eats that mushroom? Because Mario Bowser is Jack Black and Chris Pratt combined. You'll be 80 and still quoting this? Yeah, I will. I'm going to be at my nursing home. I'm going to be at my Abe Simpson nursing home. And be like, can you please bring me some jelly preserves for my breakfast toast? And when they bring it, I'm going to go, oh, hey, you brought the preserves. And they'll be like, oh, my God, he does this literally every day <laughs> for, the, for the past 30 years. I've, I've been in this nursing home since I was 50. <laughs> I've been in the nursing home since I was 23 years old. It's like a Doofenshmirtz backstory. Will Private Jessup show up for the Minecraft premiere? He would if they would invite me. They probably won't, though. Is uh, is Minecraft Lionsgate? Because Borderlands is Lionsgate. I might inexplicably still be on a Lionsgate PR list somewhere. Probably not, but I might be. Who's making Minecraft movie? What movie guy do I got to suck up to to get to that one? A uh, brief reprieve from the deep of chaos. Well, back to it. You'll need to start streaming more Minecraft, yeah. Well, for one, you're going to want to go back in time about seven or eight years ago and start streaming Minecraft Hunger Games Survival Challenges. That's going to be uh, that's gonna be the main way to get a ticket in. Oh, yeah, Tannis went slag. Sorry, Tannis, I forgot. I forgot about your objectives. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Warner Bros? Oh, no, I got no chance at Warner Bros. Maybe I can get invited to Joker, too. Can I a Joker do Lady Gaga ticket? Anybody got one of those? <laughs> I should just call it Joker 2. Lady Gaga, that's what it's called. Apparently, the initial reviews for that movie is that it sucks, which I'm excited. I can't wait. All the critics are like, what? This is terrible. Like, yes. Joker sequel that is a musical for no like why is it a musical? Why is it a musical is a question that I want to ask about all the content I enjoy. 
Big fan of musicals that have no business being musicals. Yeah, the, the critics are like, this is a flop, this is a disaster. It has like nothing to do with original Joker. Why is Lady Gaga, Harley Quinn with a musical with Joker? I'm like, yes. <laughs> They'll get married and the third one will be called Joker, baby. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. That'd be great. But yeah, the, the critics saying that the new Joker movie is terrible has me extremely excited to watch a new Joker movie. It's going to be amazing. Get him, turret. I said that it was Torg Alliance. Alliance? Allegiance. Alliance of the knife. Watch out, Baron Harkonnen. I was mad that in the Dune movie, a little baby didn't kill the Baron. It was lame that Paul killed him. I wanted a little baby to stab him. Uh, actually, in the book... Uh, actually, if you read the book, I think you'll find that that scene plays out just a little bit differently than it was portrayed on screen. By the so-called Hollywood machine ruining yet another classic and beloved franchise. With their remakes that are irrespective of the source material. Blast him, blast him, blast him, blast him. He dead yet? Nope. He's wounded. You got a wound. Oh, you did. You did wound him. Good job. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Vaughn Hunter, you got to wound him. Yeah. Wound him. <laughs> Mordecai's dying more and more. The more I do Mordecai's voice, the more it drains my vocal cords over time. That's a de-age Anya Taylor-Joy for 28 years, yeah. De-age her into a toddler. That's all they have to do. Yeah, just put it in the deepfake algorithm, right? Just put it in the AI deepfake. How hard can it be? I don't even have the quest. I don't have the quest that spawns the farmable. Whoops. Oops. Nope, nothing good for me. Just some ammo packets. I thought you were doing Larry David. Hey, come on, Jack. Give me my bird back, Jack. I'm doing the umpire from uh, Homestar Runner. That one guy in the blue shirt that shows up. You're out of there. Steve Reich 3, you're out. Oh, I moved her a few hours ago. Somewhere. What the sense make? Don't worry, Mordecai. We'll save your bird. One time I was talking to somebody about this game and they pronounced Mordecai and Mordecai and I was like, they don't even, in the game it's not even said like that. They say Mordecai. Like, why are you saying it Mordecai? That's not, that's just wrong. Here's my Mordecai anecdote. How about that one? How's that for cutting edge commentary? The edge is cut. The blade is sharp. Turns out it's not just the elemental damage time, but you know how you just like has lots of applications. Lots of applications. Lots of applications. Man, Slag, you gotta clear some of these desktop icons off your desktop. I can't even see your wallpaper. You got too many applications on here. Please stand for our national anthem, yeah. Everything beyond this door. This entire sequence of dialogue that's about to play is the national anthem of Oboe Land. One blood wing back home. Shame I've been doing some really interesting iridium experiments. Honor, hate to see her go, but to heck with it. She's all yours. Just give it up, kiddo. Bloodwing's got all the elements at her dispo. Zolfire, your slaggy electricity corrosion. Ah, oh, damn, what was that last one again? What am I forgetting? 
There you go. I hope you were all saluting your screen during that. I'm dead. Stand at attention when the anthem is playing, soldier. Yeah, these days I mostly do uh, mostly like a music parody guy. Oh, let me hear a music parody. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Yeah, like I said, succeeding downwards. We're trying to succeed downwards. Downward trajectory is the goal. I spawned all the way back there, dude. That's a brutal waypoint. Come on, Jack. <laughs> what did any of that even mean? <laughs> I wonder if I can leverage my influencer clout to be able to sing the national anthem at a minor league sporting event and I just change the lyrics. I said corrosion at a double-A baseball game? Think about how good that video would be. That video would do numbers. This guy again. This guy's my nemesis. Get him turret. There they are. I was going to say the Hyperion combat engineers wisely kept the door shut this time, but they opened it. Those fools. Loot Wii U, I am a Loot Wii Jet Loader. Oh, oh, in the game border lands too. See, there you go. You just got to use a more familiar template. You just got to use something where the syllables are baked into your brain stem. I got that Weezer song in my frontal lobe. It's loaded it into RAM at all times. Very easy to retrieve. Oh my god, don't zap me. How dare you? Still this guy. Sing the Australian National Anthem at a game on Lustuation Day, yeah. Can you kill this guy? Nope. Maybe he's Loaderbot from Tales in the Borderlands. Why did I even use a different gun? Just use Deepa. What are we doing? Who are we trying to impress, you know, with the weapon variety? Using diverse builds is not very failing downward of you. Oh, no, no, it's succeeding downward. <laughs> failing downward is just straight up failure. Failing downward is when there's no possible upside. Explosive. That did nothing. Come on. No wonder Jack forgets his element type. It sucks. Not very effective at all. Did you like the Handsome Jackpot DLC? I played it one time. I don't even remember it. I remember there was the trash place that sucked, and then the rest of it was fine. Whatever that dumb trash zone was was really bad. But again, I played that when it came out never again, so I can't recall any specifics. We're almost there. We're almost to Bloodwing herself. It's the wings of blood. That bird has the wings of blood. Oh, I thought the machine was going to say, oh, hey, you're in the preserve. It said, oh, hey. The machine should go, oh, hey, you're in the preserve. Jack was going to do this whole thing. Have you checked with Caffeine Man recently? Yeah, where you been? have you been? Have you been AFK for a while? Are you, are you just, did, you, did you see that I was streaming Borderlands 2 and hop back on? We checked in with Caffeine Man yesterday. He just reviewed Welch's grape juice drink, and it got a 9.8 out of 10. Caffey Man is doing well. Caffey Man is thriving. Talk about a succeeding upwards type individual. We did uh, in a video, Caffey Man did accident. It wasn't an accident. It was on purpose. Caffey Man did mention his real name. We now know the real first name of Caffey Man. I will not reveal it because I'm doing my best to forget the information, but I can't forget. Every time I see him, I remember him saying it. I wish, I wish he wouldn't have said it. Because knowing Caffeine Man's name feels wrong. I jettisoned that info long ago. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky you were able to. As soon as I heard that, I was like, I have to try to forget that. But I haven't forgotten. I still know, unfortunately. But now when I meet him at Caffeine Con, I can just say, hey, what's up? Name. Don't got to call him Caffeine Man. Is there a Caffeine convention? I want to go to that. <laughs> go to Caffeine Con. 
That'd be a good con. I can dress as Jessup. Jessup goes to caffeine con. I missed it. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, good. Nah, I'm kidding. It's in my frontal lobe. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that we both suffer from this rare disease <laughs> called knowing caffeine man's name. Get him, turret. What is the closest thing that energy drinks have to a convention? Probably like a Pepsi convention. There's probably a convention where like Nabisco and like soda companies reveal their latest beverages. Gotta go to that con. There should be a con all about lying and the art of lying. And it's called Decepticon. And then Megatron is the keynote speaker. And he goes, we will crush the Autobots. All right, here we go. All rise for the national anthem. Please silence your phones as we experience this wonderful moment together. Want blood wing back, huh? Shame. I'll jake off you ruined it. You didn't silence your phone. <laughs> you subscribed at the jack part. You you did the equivalent of getting a text message notification in the middle of the movie, in the middle of a dramatic scene. Oh my god. Just give it up, kiddo. Blood, Blood wings at all the elements at her disposal. Fire, what did Jake off subscribe for six months in advance? What are you doing, Jake off? Six months in it. You could have just subscribed for one month and the joke would have worked fine, but you subscribed for six. I always, I always say, subscribing for months in advance is always a risky gamble. You never know if I'm going to start playing your least favorite genre. You never know if I'm going to start trying to curate an audience of career haters to sell Manscaped to. It could backfire big time. Yeah, but the savings that you save so much. It's September as well, right? Isn't it September? Don't you get like $1 off or some crap like that? Just think of the value. Watch your claws. Watch your claws. Oh, wow, I should have watched. That was good advice, Mordecai. Thank you. Where's your subathon? I got to a haze subathon. I got to a subathon where I just play the game haze for 24 hours. Oh, God, why did I say that? <laughs> why did I speak that concept into existence? Now someone's going to keep badgering me like, where's the haze athon, bro? Come on. Where's the haze content? That'd be a terrible game to play for 24 hours because the campaign's like five hours long. <laughs> Recreate the emote IRL, yeah. When, bro? When's it coming? coming Building a haze cosplay 24 hour challenge. How close can we get? Oh, yeah, when you're reading those comics? Yeah, you know, I gotta read those comics too. I still got to read every issue of Control, all delete in order. I think it's been like a year. It's been like a year since I promised to do that one. I was hoping that one would go away, but you just brought it up again. <laughs> the Haze guy's a great emote. He is a great emote. The only problem with the Haze helmet guy is like he's kind of, you kind of have to know what the full size image is for it to be funny because it's kind of hard to parse at low resolution. Also, it's easier to parse if your Twitch is in light mode because on dark mode, he kind of blends in with the background, but on light mode, no one uses light mode. But yeah, if you know what the full-size image is, I agree that the Haze Helmet Guy emote is an amazing emote. It's very good. What are those comics? It's a terrible gamer webcomic that where loss comes from. It's the origin of the loss meme. There's also like 3,000 really awful gamer webcomics, but it's mainly known for being loss. Hilarious gamer webcomics where it's two roommates that are both holding a SNES controller and they make a joke that always ends in gratuitous violence or sex joke for 3,000 issues. It's good content. Gotta love it. What a good one. Ah, you missed it. You missed it. Sorry. Here it is now. There it is. Good try. <laughs> you were up by what, like 15 seconds? Uh, that, that was a little late. Maybe next year. Maybe in next year's Borderlands 2 playthrough will get the corrosion time perfectly. 
I use light mode, call me crazy? Yeah, you're crazy. I'm not gonna call you maybe, I'm calling you crazy. I'm gonna die. Where's the where's the skags at? Hello? Where's my free revival? Now I gotta wait another five years, yeah. Smoking Morty is superior. Smoking Morty's pretty good. Smoking Morty is a pretty good all-purpose emote. Because, like, the meaning of it is so vague. Like, what does that even mean? It can be used to react to many things. It's a good, like, a uh, thumbs-up type variant. Don't worry, Blubba. I'll beat you eventually. I'll do what Roland said and put you down. Now the Empire is going to put you down permanently. Oh, my turret's killing all the revive skags. That's the issue. Problem identified. My dial turret is doing numbers. Okay. Nice circular jump, blood wing. Oh, hang on. You get another chance. You get another chance because I'm doing the battle again. It restarts. What's the element he's forgetting? I can't wait to find out. Yeah, it's a big secret. You're gonna watch her tear your throat out. <laughs> a couch homer? Yeah, I gotta love couch homer. Couch homer's been in the chopping block for like three years now, but it hasn't gone yet. It's still there. Tranquila blood. This will hurt, I promise. Get hit by my Deepa blast. I want the turret back out? Probably not. I might need some revives. Mordecai, don't take my revives, Gags. I need those to win. I need those to kill your pet bird. Okay, corrosion time? Is there time? Still no. Really? I thought your health bar is low enough. I thought your signs were vital. Okay, now, now it's time. Still not time? Come on, Bloodwing. Oh, there's one. Close. Corrosion. That was about, uh, the timing was about as off as it was the previous time, I'd say. Yeah, corrosion, yeah, that was coming up next. What am I forgetting? How does Mordecai know her moves before she does it? Maybe it's because they have a pet owner bond that cannot be determined by outsider folks. Come on, Corrosive Bloodwing, I'm ready to take you down. My health is low, Bloodwing. My Deepa ammo runs short. Oh, here we go. Huge damage. Doing numbers, doing numbers. Numbers are being done. Yeah, there we go. Tranquila Blood, this will hurt, I promise. So does this mean that the microchip also got enhanced in size and now it won't work? Oh, now I remember. Bloodwing, no. Oh my god. I'm sorry about Bloodwing, soldier. Um, sorry about Bloodwing, soldier. Roland's not sorry. He doesn't care at all, dude. That guy's Kevin Hart. He doesn't care. Uh, sorry about Bloodwing, soldier. Mordecai's new pet will be Stanley Steamer. No, he has Talon. Mordecai's new bird. Currently, his bird is Talon. They should do... What if they, what if they bring back Handsome Jack? Oh, my God. What if they bring back Handsome Jack? Handsome Jack kidnaps Talon, Mordecai's new bird, and blows up Talon's head. And then Mordecai has to get... They just do the same plot again. <laughs> oh, my God. That'd be so good. Well, they, they can do like a they can do like a redemption thing, like you know, in that in Spider Man, when Zendaya fell off the cliff and then like Andrew Garfunkel Spider Man like saved her and it was like redemption because he didn't save Gwen in his movie. They can do that. They can do a Bloodwing and Handsome Jack again, but this time you say Bloodwing. This time Mordecai goes Tranquilo Blood. This won't hurt, I promise. At the very beginning, he's like, I should have opened with that last time. Why did I wait so long? Vault Hunter. Get down. You didn't think you were gonna get out of here alive. 
Mordecai walks up to you, asks you to dance. He says, Hold on or get down. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Sanctuary. Maybe we'll uh, we'll wrap this one up, perhaps. In my eagerness to succeed downward, I forgot about the bottom of the barrel. The dreaded bottom of the barrel. It's always there. Looming below. Once you feel yourself scrape it, it's time to leave. It's time to leave before things get embarrassingly bad. Here comes a violin, ready? What a jam. Can you do that bit again by working in a Mass Effect reference somehow? But like the second line, or the th second line of the second verse of Only in Dreams, a Mass Effect is in it? Uh... Garrus walks up to her, asks her to dance. She says, hey, Garrus, I just might take the chance. Bum, 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 Mass Effect 3. Not the game for me, like Citadel. The rest was hell. Rannock was fine. I like the Morden guy. And so it seems only in dreams. Come on, give me one Torg weapon. We'll end once I get a Torg. Once I get a new Torg gun. How do you have any golden keys left? Because they just gave out a 50 golden key code. If you go on YouTube, Twitter, you can probably find it. There's a 50 golden keys code, hot droppings. Get some hot droppings from the, from the Pitchford Twitter. I think it's from the PAX trailer. I think the PAX trailer had a hidden code. Unfortunately, it's hot droppings from the PAX trailer, not from Randy Pitchford. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Oh, we got a new Torg. It's a pistol, though, which I don't want pistols. The game is not heeding my call, though. Do it as Mordecai. The joke was a combination of obscure and or discordant combinations. So do a Mass Effect only in Dreams parody in character as Mordecai? Is that what you're saying? Mass Effect 3! <laughs> there you go. Request fulfilled. If you want your request fulfilled, come watch Obo Shoes Gaming on Twitch for more failing, no, succeeding downwards content. Can you succeed downwards into this hole? Can you die from this? Yeah, there we go. All right. No. Success. <laughs> Mordecai was like, Vault Hunter, no, what are you doing? Don't toss yourself into the Abyss Vault Hunter. I can't believe his don't die combat dialogue is still active, even after I'm in Sanctuary. What a crappy game. Can't wait to play it for the rest of my life. <laughs>